Hey everyone, so tonight I'm going to do the, my first review on the new Odin uh, Wave. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with Machine Man. So it's the, just kind of, go ahead and start with him. It says Avenger, Al Avenging Allies. That's a picture of, has got Machine Man right here. With his extended arms along with uh, King Thor arms. And on the side of the package it has just a draw different drawings uh, compared to the older Marvel Legends. It's got the Machine Man on the side here. And it shows Century. On this side, on the top, it just says Marvel, along with build a figure, the Allfather. On the back, it just shows Sentry and um, Machine Man. Sentry coming with um, Odin's arms. And on the bottom, it shows all the figures in the wave. So I still need Iron Fist, uh, Captain Marvel, and Thor. And it kind of shows the alternate build a figure, um, King Thor. Alright, guys, well then. Cut this guy open and we'll check them all out. Get my trusted pocket knife. So I'm pretty excited. I've been really looking forward to Machine Man out of all of them. I heard that his bendy his arms are bendy wire, which just reminds me of Toy Biz, which is really cool. So I'm gonna crack him open. That's weird. So the background's just nothing. There's no A or anything like that. And they didn't give you. They don't give you guys instructions this time. I hope everyone's able to build Odin and, and King Thor without those instructions. So we're gonna check out the arms. Pretty good. get a closer camera view. So there's King Thor's arm. Pretty cool looking. It's all metal and then just the regular arm. Cool. So hopefully uh, I'll get those other guys and build the uh, building for you guys. There we go. He's really cool. <laughs> All right. So looking at Machine Man. Go ahead and stand him up for you guys. All right, everyone. So here is Machine Man with his two extended arms. Very cool. I'm going to look at the front the figure. It's actually really nice. I really like the metallic purple. It looks awesome. Ah, shoot. A little bit of a paint issue right there. Bummer. At least it's on the back. But he is using the Bucky Cat mold, you can tell. Um, head sculpt's really cool looking. So we'll go ahead and get a closer look at Machine Man. Alright guys, looking at him up close. Um, again, this is my first time really looking at him also with you guys. But he's got a really cool head sculpt. I really like how this is all... I mean, look at that. It looks like a little robot. I mean, it looks really cool. I really like the purple paint applications and all the sculpting detail of the rivets on the side of his head, the red eyes, the lines underneath the eyes. He looks cool with the silver. Underneath his jaw really looks like kind of like a sentinel jaw. Well, it reminds me of that. I know he's not a sentinel, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I really like the paint uh, silver on the top. Got a little bit of bleeding over right there. Not a big deal. It's got a really nice, I really like the purple. That's what I was talking about right there prior, just on the back, the silver. But it's got a nice uh, silver paint around his neck, more of that purple. Kind of looks like almost like a purple wife beater he's got <laughs> on right there. See the silver on the sides. But see it all matches up cleanly, which is nice. There's no, uh, not, you know, the lines aren't matching up when they put them together, which is good. It's got a nice uh, silver paint on the bicep. And this is a... This belt's very bendy rubber plastic. Move it up and down. It's just a nice uh, silver plastic. Kind of has a blue hue to it. But going down the arms, just all purple. Definitely has, still has those trigger fingers. Not a big deal. The rest of the body's just that purple. He's got some more silver across the shins. And same boots that we've seen. That's, again, very cool. So go ahead and look at Machine Man's accessories. So it comes with these extended arms. And yes, they are bendy wire, because you can see the holes there. Very cool. Not super bendy, but still, it's better than nothing, right? It's pretty cool. It's like Inspector Gadget. <laughs> so it comes with two of them. It looks like the fist come off. Take them off. Oh, yep, take the fist off. So you can actually have them 
with two fists instead of the trigger fingers. Let me see the pegs. Look kind of similar. Oh, sweet. Check that out. So you make one extent. Let's. Tr Sorry, guys. I'm. I'm actually gonna play with them a little bit on camera. If you guys are cool with that. Uh, take off that arm. Let me back the camera up so you guys can see what I'm doing. No idea. It's kind of turned to like a fun play review. If you guys are cool with that, probably would help if I use the correct hand. So he doesn't have a right hand on the left side. So these pop in really easy in and out. There we go. <laughs> kind of goofy, but that's pretty cool, right? You can make them super extended, like. I mean, look at that. That's pretty cool. It kind of makes you want to buy more. Too bad they didn't come with that long. Cause that that'd be pretty fun, right? Punch guys from way long distance. But yeah. So they just pop in and out like no no problem. Not like that. That's a typical one. But I do like how you can put two of them together. That's pretty cool. You can also put his other hands in there. Do you want to have like an open hand? You have them like that too. Kinda defeats the reverse because you kinda want those fists. But very cool. I like how you can put both the bendy uh, arms together and make one big long arm. I think that's pretty cool. But we'll go ahead and go into the articulation of him. He still has the Bucky Cat mold, so you, can, you guys kind of know what to expect. Um, his head, let me get, make sure the camera's in focus. Head moves left and right, up and down, very good. Uh, he's got ball joints in the shoulder, nice and clicky. Move out and forward, bicep swivel, double joint elbows. Rotation at the wrist and at his other wrist. And then move down and back. And then, of course, this is bendy wire, which is nice. Also, he's got a nice ab crunch, clicks forward that far, clicks back, same as the Hydra. He's got a waist swivel and also Bucky Cap. Uh, it kicks out very far, kicks to the side, got upper bicep, upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees boot cut, ankles move down and up, and he's got a nice ankle rocker along with peggles at the bottom of the feet. So it's a really nice figure. Um, definitely gonna enjoy playing around with this guy more. Um, but it stands, you know, obviously I'm not, I'm not gonna measure him because he's still the same height as, you know, AIM and Hydra, I mean, Hydra or Cat Bucky Cap six inch figure. But still a very cool figure. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, so that's my review on Machine Man. Please leave a comment, hit the like button, and yeah, uh, subscribe. And check. look forward to checking out the other videos. Please leave comments on um, which ones you want to see, or else I'll, I'll just go ahead and pick them out too. But hope you guys get involved and uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you guys want to see Scarlet Witch, Sentry, or Hawkeye next. All right, thanks, guys. Have a great night. Bye.